Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This your boy Jay with Locked and Loaded TV. Hey, look, man. It's funny that I'm doing the final recording of this video today. And look what happens. We got a package. Hey, if you know the color of it, you know what that package is. So, optic, Olight, Osight. This is a green dot with, of course, the recharger. And then we have the PL Pro Valkyrie from Olight. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this back up before this thing come back apart. Gotta put the slide back on. But we are clear. Clear. So something that I really liked about this was, of course, them giving the option of a green dot. Of course, I keep complimenting any company that does it because green light is easier on your eyes compared to a red dot. That's just my opinion. I don't know about some of you. This is just for me, though. But the Olight Osight definitely holds zero. I will compliment that. I shot all my 10 mil shots on steel targets, so you'll be able to hear. And then I'll also switch over to my POV view on my glasses so you can see it. Um, it held up well. So most of this video is going to be containing a lot of range time and basically showing you that the optic holds zero. Um, can't really do much with a flashlight um, during the day. So this is just part of the look. So if I was to carry this, I would most likely probably carry it like this or i would get the mini which i should have on the way um i think i just did my order package today so i like it i don't get a whole bunch of shots through my um 10 millimeter but in an overall i did um i definitely got quite a few shots over the weekend mainly because the ammo for a 10 mil is not cheap so with me buying ammo by the cases which i do quite often especially when i go to gun shows and um a firearm outlet on the zero aspect let's get you over to the video so you can take a look at it today we out of the range out of black alpha tactical and we are coming out here to test out the zeroing and how hold, how good of a zero does this Olight hold? So we got it in a competition style type poster. This is a T-Rex. And we got a 10 mil loaded up. About to get ready to do a little bit of work out here. See how, you know, how things go. If, it, if it's, you know. Let's see, you know, if it's, is it worth a $200 price tag? Is it worth a $100 price tag? What is it really worth? You know what I'm saying, you know. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit of work with it. We're going to see, you know, how it runs. And see if it's going to run correctly and is it going to hold zero. Holding zero is the most important thing. Because, uh, yeah, I'm, I've been seeing people doing torture tests. I don't do torture tests on my weapons for the simple fact that I don't feel like going through the whole process of sitting there trying to clean them all over again. So, you know, what she could do. Just like that, the holster came off. The clip. And just like that, the holster came off. The clip for the holster came off just as fast as I shot it. Got our brand new old light dirty already, so we 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 gonna have to come back to that. First mag, that decent, that decent. 10 milli, 10 milli. All 
Oh sight, still holding zero. Still holding zero. I see you. Good job. This is probably gonna be the last one. I don't plan on being out here all day, it's too hot. <sighs> That's it. And she held zero. It holds zero though. And there you have it. The O light O site definitely held. When it comes to full disclosure, um, I don't like giving dishonest opinions or anything like that. So. I just like to keep it 100 honest and i've been seeing a lot of uh youtubers um they've been going through the torture test on optics and um i can't completely get it i saw draco wick break a brick with a o site over the weekend i saw that video this past weekend uh that i thought that was interesting um i saw my the gun guy i saw him almost to the point that he destroyed his gun because the gun wouldn't go, the firearm wouldn't go back into action. Um, I've seen a couple people do a lot of weird stuff with not only the O site, but with a couple other companies. I will not mention the other company's name ever on my channel because I I don't like bashing companies, so I'm gonna leave it at that. So um, I, I'd rather just give my true, honest opinion if. This company was to send me a light. I'm not even, I'm sorry. If they were to send me an optic, I would honestly send it back. Um, I've been rocking with Olight for a while. I've been rocking with Hollison for a while. Gideon was uh, a newcomer into my collection and I'm actually running that on my EDC. So that should honestly tell you something that one is zeroed in, it holds zero and it does good. Would I EDC a O site? Yes, I would, because this 10 mil, if I, if I get a holster that can hold this 10 mil on a concealed carry, I would probably rock with it. I ain't going to lie to you. It holds zero. I didn't have any issues. I don't have to worry about the dot dying on me because look how simple this is. Drop on charge. You can't beat that, man. I don't have to worry about the light dying on me because all the new lights that I got from Olight, they're all rechargeable. So that's my biggest up to them. Jumping to the rechargeable is more of a standard for me now because it's easier to use. I don't have to worry about batteries all the time. Like with this one, this is one of my first like five O lights that I had. This one is dead. I've actually changed the batteries on this one time already. And this one is dead. Um, so we're definitely gonna jump and go to the more cleaner look i like it so i uh, given the o site a solid 8.5 9 out of 10 um the pl pro i'm gonna give it a solid eight on the um light because one it works and two it's rechargeable so I know it's gonna last. And the fact that Olight has a warranty makes it even better. So shout out to the people over at Olight for sending me out some of these products to review. Hey man, I'm a happy camper. Great job. Um, check the description below and you will see my promo code LNLTV. Use that for a discount. Appreciate you for viewing. Like, share, and subscribe. This been your boy, Jay with Lock and Loaded TV. Stay tuned. We got a couple more firearms coming in this week alone, along with a few other reviews that we will be doing. I do have another review for Olight that will actually be coming out soon. I have another new firearm, so why not? 
Hey, check back this weekend. We got competition on Saturday. We have one in Annapolis. I'm going to be with my boy Aaron. We're going to be, um, we got Annapolis, and then we're going to head down to Indian Hair, Maryland uh, for Black Alpha Tacticals competition. We're going to hit both of them. This will be the first time that I ever did two competitions in one day. So this ought to be entertaining. So if I don't get a good night's rest, I'm going to be worse. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not world's greatest shooter. Never said I was, never will claim to be. Because I know some great shooters and I'm, I'm still a work in progress. That's all I'm going to say. Stay tuned for what we have coming soon with the weeks going forward. Man, I got a bunch of stuff planned out. Um, This conversion that i'm working on man 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 this should be fun i hope y'all like it uh i know i already know i'm gonna love it so i hope y'all like it just enjoy so like share and subscribe this has been your boy jay with lock and loaded tv stay tuned